Okay, here it is. It's Kosho 619. This is part three. We're back. I was going to take this outside and fly it, but it got dark. And then I talked to Bob and he was like, man, I just want that thing to fly like yours. So I'm just going to go ahead and go straight into forward programming and just show you guys what I've done on my own helicopter, which is this one. And um, how I basically turn the roll rate up and things like that in forward programming. So we're going to get right into it. Time to plug in the battery. Hold mode. Basically, we're going to go right into forward programming here. I'm going to go to model adjust. We're going to go forward programming. This is only here when the helicopter is on. So, helicopter has to be on. Swash plate. You guys see that? Let's go back there. I'm going to go, this is the main menu. We're going to go into swash plate. We're going to hit roll. You can see that the rolls per second is 270. Um, it's too low for me. 350. Oops. 350. Let's go 350 on this here. Hit OK. Go back. We're going to leave all the PIDs the same. We're going to go to pitch. 270. You got to do it on pitch also. Keep it equal. Oop. 350. Take it down like this, Justin. I have fat fingers, so you'll probably have better luck than me <laughs> with this. Okay, so there's 350. We're gonna go back again. We're gonna go back again. We're going to tail rotor now. Tail rotor. Hello. Tail rotor's at 550. Nope. Turn it up Kosho style. Oop, 650. The tail to move. Oop, 650. Hit OK. Now you've turned up the roll rates in your helicopter and the yaw rate, which is in your um, rudder. I did not mess with the PID gains. You, you really don't need to. Um, I'm not even going to go into system setup. Actually, if, if I show you system setup, I'm not going to use it, but if you felt like your helicopter was drifting or um, some some kind of it's not it's not stable, check your swash plate, make sure it's level. But if not, you can hit calibrate sensor. I'm not going to hit calibrate sensor because I don't need to. Um, we're going to go ahead and fly at stock. So if you do, you hit calibrate sensor, hit begin, and then the helicopter, as long as it's sitting level like this is here, um, it'll calibrate, and that, that's what you need, and you don't want the servos humming or anything vibrating on your table while you're doing that. So let's go back. Um, setup menu. You can, you can put safe on uh, any mode, I believe. Let's see here, here's stability. In this case, um, you can you can also activate stability in in uh, stunt two and stunt one. Uh, we're not going to, but if I do want to, I could I could activate it here. So that's a little example of you know if you have to fly in stability. I would not. I think it's a crutch. Um, you really need to know how to fly the helicopter in basic what's called heading hold, and that's how any helicopter flies. And when you get into bigger stuff, you're you're not going to have safe mode. So, um, you know, start learning now, basically. So we'll get out of that. When you get out of it, the helicopter twitches. You know, we're, we're back, basically, to the, the main screen, and you can get out of it there. And uh, here we are, you know. So as I go into this mode, basically, I'm, I'm in normal mode now. Uh, my, my panic is working. You can hit the switch to verify. There you go on camera. Which is verifying that it's working. And uh, hold mode again. We got full collective pitch, full negative pitch. Oh, I did leave one thing out. Let's talk about pitch adjustment. If you want the helicopter to be a little more poppy, which we all do, go into servo setup here. Go to travel. Travel. 
go to pitch make this simply a hundred and ten percent on negative Oop. hit OK and then go to 110 percent on positive and what this does is just give you a little more pitch where we talked about those scissoring the blades um, this basically is going to be going to be farther of a spread here now and negative so basically you can see here I'll just go to pitch and we'll go to the top here and if I take this this slider here and I just move it down you can see I can subtract pitch or I can add pitch 110 seems to be pretty cool it doesn't bog the blades but it's just a little more than stock so um, that that's what I do hit OK on your DX9 you won't have to hit OK or any other radio just the IX12 with the touch screen so there you have it now you have the Kosho set up too and um, basically I just do my rate adjustments now essentially my roll rate and my pitch rate in the forward programming you don't you don't need to do it on the dual rate anymore um, and, and basically I don't fly with the with the dual rate switch that we that we've set over here with your low rate and on the aileron and elevator um, I, I always fly with my hundred percent but you do have that option if you feel like it's a little too touchy and you want the two rates then just go ahead and flip your switch back to the low rate fly it like that so low rate high rate you're not going to see any difference of movement on the swash plate what it does basically is let the gyro free so that your roll rate comes alive um, it changes the algorithm or whatever it does inside the electronics <laughs> so anyway that thing's ready to fly I'll catch up with you in the morning it's getting late here and um, I've got to go watch some TV so there you go that's how you do it Kosho 619 I'm out subscribe if you like it and um, please use the, the, the link below if you want to purchase a 150s or support my channel um, that basically helps helps us a lot it, it, it basically tells horizon that I'm basically telling you guys what to do so have a good night thank you